we're gonna do right here is go back. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Go, go back, go back, back, go back, go back, back, go back, go back, back. Alright, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. What we have here today is the Bandai Tamashi Gundam Fixed Figuration Metal Composite. RX-O Unicorn Gundam. This is number 1006. I don't know where they started. I know there aren't a thousand Gundam fixed figuration figures, so I don't understand the um, numbering. But let's go ahead and look at the box. That's cool. So you have both the normal unicorn mode as well as the full destroy mode. This is a fully transforming figure. Very cool. Wait till you see it. All right. Unicorn on the bottom. Same unicorn on the top. Destroy mode on the side. Destroy mode on the side. And just looking at this, you have a couple of different pictures of each mode. You have the destroy mode as well as the unicorn mode. I'm surprised that they don't show the unicorn up top and destroy it. I know it's a little nitpick, but it starts out in unicorn mode, so you would think it'd go first to second. But it also has some of the weapon, well, all of the weaponry here. As well as a cool pose of him with the bazooka. Um, destroy mode with the rifle. Yeah, cool box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cool figure though. Because I've been playing with this all day and want to show you. Alright, and taking a look at what comes in the box. Of course you have Unicorn here. You have his stand. And honestly, I'm not even going to bother with the stand or anything like that. You can see I'm even bending it with my hands. It's not a very well-made stand. So it comes with it, but for this review, we're going to pretend like he doesn't even have it because I am not going to use it. It will break. All right. So looking just left to right, you have a variety of hands here to open fists for the swords and to open fists, you know, with a trigger finger out, as well as two just plain open hands. You've got a couple of beam sabers. Or the ends to the beam savers, the beams themselves. You've got the shield, a couple of different attachments here. We'll go over those throughout the review. You've got two different crest. One's closed, one's open. The one that's currently on his head actually transforms. Like it actually opens on its own. We'll go over that when we transform the figure. But if you want static ones, those will do ya. Alright. His two turret guns. His assault rifle, his bazooka. Different ammo clips, they're all the same, but they all go inside of this rifle here, as well as an ammo pack for the bazooka itself. So, pretty cool stuff. So, alright. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do an accessory um, section for this review, because these are pretty intricate. They have their little transformings and things like that. So, alright. Now, on to the figure itself. The accessories are pretty straightforward, so we'll just go from left to right. We've got the hands here, those will go in use when we use the actual guns themselves. But the ends of the beam sabers, I didn't show it, but he does come with four saber handles. Two of them fit right here on his back. Zoom in there. I knew that he was going to fall over, like, something just about him said that he was going to do it. Alright. Getting that back on. Focus there. But okay. He's got two on his back, as well as one in each arm. And they fit inside of here. They just fold out. So, pretty cool stuff. But to show how it actually looks, hold it all the way forward. It's only really usable in destroy mode. But okay. Just peg one of the ends in. There. There you go. So there you see it. Okay. So taking that out. And of course both arms have it if you want to have them with two out. You know, do your thing. Okay, now the shield is one of the more, not necessarily complex, but he has a couple of options when it comes to pegging that guy in. You can peg it in just normal using this attachment here. Okay. This guy actually clips in 
You can do this on either arm, but both arms have a peg in on each side. So you just take this, peg it in, make sure I'm pegging in the right side here. Alright? Peg that guy in, and boom. Okay? There's that. And then the shield can just peg in from there. Alright? But a more common one is using the turrets. Now the turrets, you can have them as a handle by just simply taking that piece and folding it out. I don't prefer that, so I'm going to keep each of them like normal. Peg the guy back in. And here's what we're going to do. Alright. You peg in this end first on those shield peg things, just like the shield itself, okay? Let me zoom in some there so you can see what I got going on. Now there's a peg in here, that one specifically goes on bottom, and then this end you peg it in, and then kind of clip them together, okay? So you can have them like that, or you can take this piece here, peg it in, helps hold them together, even though they're pegged in solid. Either way. And boom, there you go. There's a the shield. Okay. Now, with the bazooka, for the most part, I just keep this on his back, but you can use the trigger hand, and if you want to attach the ammo clip, you just take that piece out of the back, and then this guy just pegs in underneath. So it's pretty particular to size, it's very tight. So don't be afraid to jam it in there a little bit, but okay. Now you've got that. I actually prefer to keep the ammo pegged out. And then this part right there just pegs into his backpack like so. Okay? And it's cool because it's made to not be back heavy. For you guys who own the Robot Spirits version, actually, this toy, in terms of its, his accessories and how he handles them, almost just picture perfect. You know, it's exact same thing. All right, so his assault rifle. There's a gap there, pegs in and out. You can just choose any of these guys. Let me zoom in a bit. The handle for the ammo clip just comes off. Let me find one that's a little bit easier. Just comes off like that. Alright. So then with it unclipped, doing it the wrong way, but just take it, it fits right in there, then boom. And the rifle actually moves back and forth. So then the fingers aren't articulated or anything like that. You gotta kinda just wedge it in. Alright? And then his wrists are on ball joints and you legit just peg the other one in. Like so. Alright? And there you have his accessories. Okay? Now on to the figure itself. All right, taking a look at Unicorn himself. First off, the measurement. This one's a big one. One 100 scale, and in normal mode, he's just under eight inches tall. Okay, now just taking a look at him. Looking at this toy, honestly, makes me respect kit builders, Gunpla guys, that much more, because look at all the decals on them and stuff like that. I could not imagine how long it'd take to apply all of these water slides. I mean, water slides aren't something that's short, but I think about cutting them all off the backer and stuff like that. It's a lot of work to make this guy just look like this, you know? Or else you'd have just a plain big white figure. But okay, that's an all-around view. I'm leaving these, the turrets and the shield on, 
because why not? And plus the shield transforms, so it'll be cool to be able to show that during that point. But okay. The head, it does have a ball joint there. You have to see how this comes up. It's part of its transformation, and it doesn't really lock in place. So when I move the head, I actually grab it by the sides and try to do its thing. It's limited. It can't look up. It can look down, though. All right. So shoulder movement there. Not really any movement in the shoulder pads themselves, but he does have shoulder swing, bicep swivel. Okay. No double joint in the biceps, or not biceps, elbows or anything like that, which I'm okay with. All right. Waist swivel. No ab crunch. The skirts do move on all sides, so that's cool. See, he does have nice swing in the thigh joints. And where a lot of his um, metal is, the metal composite part, is in some of these joints. Like the hip joints are definitely die cast. The knee joints, like half of them are die cast, half of them are plastic. You know, it's definitely more interior. Almost like a big um, spec figure or the Tamashi special products line or whatever. That kind of deal. Alright, so keeping on going here. No double joint in the knees, which is surprising. But great articulation in the... And the ankles here, all right, and then separate movement in the front of the feet to give him more stability that way, all right. So, there he is. There is Unicorn Gundam, and what we're gonna do now is have some fun and transform this guy into destroy mode. Alright, now, transforming this guy into destroy mode is fun. We're just going to go top to bottom. I love that this is self-contained. Um, the only panels you have to remove are the two sides of the face here. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. But I am going to start by removing two panels of his face on the sides of his head. Okay, they just peg out. Now, for the face... Just lift it up, move the default face back, put it back. Now, by default, the panels on the side of the head go on like so. Let me see if I can focus a little bit better there. But you just have to take them and turn them upside down like that. And that's how they're going to go on now. I'm actually going to zoom into his face there so that you can see what I'm doing but when they go on on the side there you can tell it goes on right because there are the clear red parts are also holes in the side so going on ahead and pegging this side back on okay so now moving top to bottom I'm gonna stick with the head and this, like I said, just unfolds. How cool is that? So already a world of difference and we're only through the head. Okay? So with the shoulder pads, they lift up like that. Okay? Now he has these things on the side here. And you just take them. Oops. You lift the shoulder pads back up. When everything clips, it kind of locks in. The friction holds it really well. So, just taking those, see how it just push that vent out there? And of course, there are my dogs. Okay. Alright, so I'm just moving through and doing the same thing on the other side there. Just moving that vent out. And up, boom. Okay. So now I can take these, this chest, just pop it out there. Good amount of difference. And I'll just leave that off for the time being. Now, there are two little pegs. And then top of the shoulders, 
just using an X-Acto to help edge it out real quick. They're not tight or anything like that, but I don't have sharp nails to get underneath like that, but okay. Getting them back in focus here. Make sure those are moved back out. Alright, now he has two panels on each side of the chest, and they just move back. Up and out like that, okay. Alright, so that's almost all of the torso there. So, his arms, that one's already pulled out. With that side, I'll pull it out. If you didn't see what I did, it's default like that. And then it just pulls out. Okay, so now I'm taking the other side and just pulling it all out. Okay, and boom. That's through his arms. Alright, let me stand this guy a little bit more straight up. Okay. So, these two panels right here. These panels right here on his front skirt. They go out. So, if I can't do it, I'm just taking my X-Acto knife here. I'm hoping to get these started. I don't know why this is, of course, the first time that I've had problems. It's always on camera, I'll tell you what. But okay, there we go. And these slide outwards. Okay. So, let me see if I can get the other side myself. Okay, there's that, all right, so there's that, crotch, you just slide out the bottom part, then move up the top part, okay, and just moving around here, each of these side panels just kind of slides down, let's get a good friction grip there, okay, do the same thing for the other side, all right, now these back, Parts do have rocket thrusters that come out, but they end up getting pushed down so much that I don't mind them too much. But okay, this piece right here, it actually pulls out. Let me see if I can get some light in here, because this one's hard to really explain what's going on. But okay, there are two peg holes. And see, I'm just going to take that side off. Peg hole on each side. All right, and we've got this piece moved out. So then, you actually take the hips, and see that metal piece right there? No? Yeah, maybe? There's a metal piece right there that you have to move them out enough for this to peg back, peg into when you put it back down. So you have to make sure each side pegs in, and we got it, okay. That actually just makes them a little bit taller. That's it, all right? And flares out the legs a little bit. It gives them a wider stance. Alright, so just pegging those skirts back in. Alright, so now we're doing the lower body. And you could already see how big of a difference it is. These two thighs, let's boom, boom. The knees also move up. Okay. Now, the knee pads are kind of weird. You push that part forward and kind of move it out like that but then this red piece you slide that forward and then this clips into it All right. so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side get that part prepped first move that piece out and then take that part move it in well okay there are the knee pads now around the back you just take these move them out so red pieces underneath Move those out some as well. Okay. Okay. So now this is cool. There are actually two clips on each side of each leg. You can just pull it out and reclip it. Pull it out. Oops. Okay. So pull that out, reclip it. 
All right, and we are almost done. Literally, the last parts of the feet. But okay, these foot guards, you just take it and you wedge it up like so, okay? On each side, take them, wedge them up like so, all right? The heels, I always do this part next, personally because I forget if I don't, but okay. There's that. Now, more of a detail piece than anything. Now, okay, you're supposed to be able to slide these panels right here around this okay that time it magically worked because I'm pushing in and moving around at the same time but it ain't gonna work all the time um, everybody I know who owns this pretty much says that those things pop out like crazy um, even the I believe it's a master grade model builders that said that they pop out on that too so I don't know if it's just a design flaw in general trying to convert that from TV to toy or what but see it just popped off right there and it's no biggie it's just ball joints um honestly on my own time I'll probably just be taking these off when I transform them if I ever even transform this again just to transform and put them back on because I mean it's really nothing to do so okay there we go. Make sure that his heels all the way out. And that's a first. His, whatchamacallit, his... Ankle guard in the back just popped off, and I have no idea how this thing goes back on. Okay, it just slid back on. Alright, there's that. There is... Oh, almost forgot one part. It's tiny, but his waist there extends a little bit. But okay, now we have Unicorn in Destroy Mode. What's cool is that even his backpack changes to fit along with his new mode. And the fact that these swords come around. Jeez. I'm just going to take the bazooka off. It's supposed to come around and then up. Even in my own time, I haven't had the best of luck with this. But bring it around. Up. Okay, so there's that part. And then there are two thrusters on the side here. That are hidden that come out. Okay. So getting this on his back. Moving that torso. I wish there was some kind of lock for the torso part. Because it's not like it's a huge height difference, but aesthetically, I mean, it's nice to have that little bit of clear there, too. But okay. Now, there you have it. There he is in full on destroy mode. And let's take a measurement here. Now, he went from just under 8 inches to about eight and three quarters inches tall so not too far off from nine inches almost an inch in height is gained from you know putting him into this mode but yeah go ahead and give him back his, his rifle there and what's cool is now since this is his armored up destroy mode you could take some of these ammo packs and peg them into his back skirts which I do dig about this look a lot. And there he is, man. There is Big Billy Badass. Unicorn Gundam in destroy mode. get that back get that back it's not as fiddly as it looks but it, it is kind of fiddly can't even lie there but once you got it it's solid but yeah I want to take the opportunity to give you guys kind of a top to bottom look 
you can see some of the detailing on this guy. I mean, it's overall pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And, before I forget, the shield actually transforms too, just like the cartoon. So, there's that, and there's that. Mm -hmm. So now he's really, really, really beefed up. So yeah, there you go. You have almost nine inches of badass. That's really, really what it is. So, put him into a cool pose here. Because this thing is pretty poseable. Now, the hips are a little bit more limited once you put them into this mode. Because of how you have to flare the hips out. But definitely not bad. Not, not a horrible loss. Yeah, overall, just a lot of stuff when it comes to this figure. Now, the ankles aren't quite as artic articulated in this mode, but still awesome. Take a look at that. Just overall, cool freaking stuff. Alright, and there you have it. There is Unicorn Gundam in Destroy Mode. Final thoughts on this figure, I mean, well worth every penny. I mean, very solidly built, full-on transformation. Like I said, it comes with the swap parts, but even the transforming horn is, you know, just fine looking in itself, so you don't need the swap parts or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just, it's great. Definitely great. This is one that came out years ago, so you'll definitely have to find it on the secondary market, if at all. Um, I know Ami Ami has restocks every so often, and Mandaraki, that's where I got mine. Mm, decent price, I think I paid like 120 plus shipping. So, not bad at all for what you get. A gigantic Shogokin transforming unicorn Gundam. What, what more can you ask for? And on top of that, the fact that it's very well done. In fact, the only downside of this figure is the stand, which is a piece of crap. But at the same time, I got a friend who says he's going to um, send me, I, it's a action base, I believe, for Master Grade Gundams, or I think it's Any Grade Gundam or whatever, the model kits to see if that works out for it too. So if so, I'll upload another video of that of me posing it on it and give you a tip on, you know, how to find those as well. But anyway, this has been another Kumasau review. Once again, this is the Bandai Tamashi Gundam Fixed Figuration Metal Composite number 1006 RX-O Unicorn Gundam. See you guys next review. Hope you, hope you enjoyed.